just want to talk about our new generation of uh, vices. We believe these are new generation because of the design does away with many of the problems associated with metal vices. Now, first thing is that it's non-racking. You can see I'm holding a piece of wood here in this vise without a corresponding piece here and with very little force it won't rack. Now the reason for that is that this vise has a plastic bush in the back here and also one up the front. Now these bushes are quite wide so that when this precision made main shaft slides through it holds it so that it stops the vise jaw from racking. Now another really neat feature in this new generation of vices is the seal in the front there. So when you're woodworking, um, you're always going to get sawdust or it could even be brass dust on the main shaft. So when you wind your vice in, this seal simply cleans the shaft to prevent dust and dirt getting into the um, plastic bushes. Now we've done extensive testing on this, uh, we've had a prototype in our workshop under serious workshop conditions and those bushes have not worn at all in that time period. The other really nice feature about this vise, which is a, certainly a problem with other vices, if you look down the end of that vise you can see a brass tube. Now inside that brass tube is the thread. Now it's not sealed but there is no chance of dust and dirt getting into that, um, that uh, thread to make it wear over a long period of time. It's pre-greased and that's all that ever needs to be uh, done. Uh, very simple, the base plate is perfectly square to the front of the vise. So if you make your bench so that the edge of the bench is square with the underneath section and flat, then this vise will just bolt straight on. As long as you bolt it on securely, this vise will not rack, and as you can see, it just winds up perfectly even all the way through. We've got uh, about 50 odd vices out there now in, under workshop conditions, and we're getting very good feedback about them. But some of the questions we're getting asked at shows and by email is what happens if. Um, my plane or chisel hits the vice jaw. Um, simply put, uh, when we're making vices, we actually use a plane to take the arrows off a sharp edge. And that blade can do that uh, nearly all day. So we have no heartache in uh, recommending to you that there is no issue with a chisel or a plane blade hitting the aluminium uh, vice. Um, instead of putting wood in your vise, what we recommend is to glue the shiny side of leather onto the vise jaw and use the rough side for holding wood. Thereby, if your wood isn't perfectly parallel, it will hold it uh, better. Now, another query we've had is um, the vise only opens out to six inches. We find for woodwork, uh, or in my experience with woodwork, uh, I've never used anything this size, but this vice can hold anything six inches wide, could be 12 inches deep. We see no limitations with um, that sort of thing. That being said, this vice was designed to work in conjunction with a tail vice. So uh, if you're going to plane wide boards, uh, this is an 8 inch wide board, it won't fit in here. Um, we, we don't think putting a piece of wood in this way in a vise is the way to go. You need to have your board flat on a bench held securely by a tail vise at each end. If on the other hand you're planing uh, the edge of a board, this vise will certainly hold a board no problem. To plane the edge, like I can use my plane down here and it's still sturdy all, right, all the way through. So, and that's because you've got eight inches of wood, which is basically self supporting. But always remember if you're doing flats, the flat side of the board 
lay it flat on your bench and either hold it by a stop or a tail bias. Some other questions we've had about the vice opening out to six inches is how do you hold a, a draw? Um, certainly with the small ones, the same way you would with any vice, um, you can plane your ends, get your tails or your dovetails right. Um, but the query is mainly related to large draws. This drawer is over 12 inches deep and um, 12 inches high. Um, and sure, you can't open the vice out to hold it in that uh, the whole vice, but um, the way I would do it, and I'm sure other people would, is just to hold each joint as you go. Because of the precision of the vice, that is very sturdy. I, I would even be going to plane my tails out here. But if you if if you wanted more uh, or to be more sturdy, then you would just take it out and do it the other way around. And sure, you may have to plane back this way or come around the other side of the bench. But um, yeah, we don't see any issues with um, planing draw size sides simply because the vice only opens out to six inches. It's the, um, the really nice thing about this design is uh, we're relying on large surface area to hold your job with minimal force. So that's why we only have a smaller handle which makes it quick to wind the vice in and out. Um, but you don't need any more leverage than that to hold a piece of wood or a drawer. And that's simply because we've got good surface area here and here, non-racking. As soon as a vice racks, you lose your surface area, which then requires more force, and sometimes that just makes it worse. So uh, we've opted for precision over force.